Well, hello there, everybody. Trey here, and welcome back to the game where I'm trying to become YouTube famous by blowing up rockets. We're back in Next Space Rebels. If you missed the first episode of this game, I do recommend you go check it out. It's a weird one. It's a, it's a rocket building game with a whole YouTube aspect into it. Anyways, we're still kind of at the start of the game building very basic rockets. Hopefully we can get some better software today or at least some more unlocks so we can go further into the cosmos because right now we're hardly going over buildings. Let's be honest. Now I have a current challenge going on where I have to go through a window with trash parts. So uh, yeah, I guess we're building our first trash rocket. Of course, we'll have a, a, a soccer ball, deflated soccer ball as the nose cone and then toilet paper down at the bottom. That should be good. And we'll have a simple... Well, this is probably gonna be pretty heavy, so let's throw a medium booster on that. And then we'll throw a wing on the TP roll, and that should be everything that we need. This is gonna go perfectly, you watch. So I have to fly it over there? It's so weird having like real life pictures in this game, by the way. How, how do you want me to fly it over? Let's just launch it and see what happens. Well, I mean, it went well. I just gotta angle it, I guess. All right, so we're gonna want this off center a bit, I guess. So once it launches, it should turn to the right. This is where the game's gonna get a little harder, I feel like. All right, we've already seen that. It's balanced. Now, if we launch it, okay. That might work if, if we're a little more aggressive with that angle. Oh, oh, it's okay. I've, I've got it where it's falling over. So if I launch it at the right time, it's so close. I just need it to fall a little bit less. All right, this is it. I've added a small rocket inside the tube. Excuse me? Am I aiming for the wrong window right now? What? Oh, I guess it didn't go through. It looked like it did. Anyways, we did it. <laughs> that was so hard, actually. All right, we're going to call this one trash window rocket. Um, Improviser football. No, Rocket Girl. We, we we need to get those good tags. Oh, I can get three tags now. So that should be good. Upload that video. Uh, 141 new subs. I accident I accidentally clicked. How many views? 21,000 views. I'm finally becoming famous. You know what? This fishing for uh for parts is just it's not fun. There's the, uh, I mean, fishing is already you know arguably boring in real life, and I'm a fisherman. I'll admit it. But through text, it's, it's, it's got to be the most boring thing ever. The whole storyline of this is, is interesting, to say the least. But look at that. I caught a tin can. Now I can download that data to my rocket. Yay. And this guy wanted me to do that. So now I have a challenge because he wanted me to catch that. There's an abandoned portable toilet not far from your geolocation. I saw people talk about it in a forum. I challenge you to topple it by hitting it with a rocket. That is a pretty great challenge. I'm enjoying these challenges, honestly. I thought it'd just be, you know, going higher and higher in the air. No, we actually got to aim for things now. All right, so we got to set a goal for topping over toilets. Now, I really wish I could see the map before I build. So I'm just going to build a basic rocket right now just to see kind of how I'm working here. Oh, my God. that Will, will this work out? <laughs> that would have been great if it did. Oh, now it's not toppling over. Really? This is going well. Oh, Oh, I don't even know how I'd change the angle of that, but that was a good trajectory. It's not going too high. Now I just got to figure out how to angle it. Oh, oh come on. Oh, oh why? I'm so close. The thing is, I don't even know if this rocket's heavy enough to take it down. I think I hit the roof that time, but all I have been doing is just hoping for the best because... This rocket has a mind of its own. I'm almost thinking maybe I have to wait to get more unlocks to do this. That or I just re keep retrying until I get lucky and it goes in the right direction because I've tried this at least 200 times now. Come on. What? Okay. Well, that was a direct hit. I couldn't get much better than that. Maybe hitting the top a bit would give it some more force. But I thought if I hit it from the front for sure it'd fall over. Clearly not. So that tells me I need a bigger rocket or more punch. This might be something we have to do later. That sucks because I, I spent a long time doing that. I mean, maybe putting a firework on and exploding it might work. Things like that. Oh, oh, firework. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going to uh, just 
focus on maybe getting a little more famous right now. I'm, I haven't tried the one kilometer challenge in a while. Being that we have the medium boosters now and a lot more complexity at our disposal, we might actually be able to go quite high. So let's try that. Okay, so I've been uh, screwing around with many rocket designs. I think I got something going here. If we keep these things in the middle, let's just test with two. Stability is okay. That's the important part. I'm trying to keep this thing as stable as possible. So let's see. Is it a straight flight? Oh, my God. This might be my... That's by far my best launch yet. Uh, I think my highest was 180. We just hit 420. We're almost halfway there. I didn't even design any stages yet, uh, which is fantastic. And almost straight down. Look at that. Oh, my God. That felt so good. All right. And we're only at a complexity of 19. So we should be able to design this with, like, four... Assuming my stable my stability stays. So what we're gonna do is add one more rocket kitten right now. It says unbalanced right now, but it should. Yes, it actually, when you hover over it, you can see stability is okay. So keeping this on top of each other, which should go really well. I didn't actually test how long each of these boosters last, but obviously I want one booster to, to engage when one, one goes away. Oh yeah, that's right. I actually have four boosters on this. I forgot I have one right at the bottom too. So we're gonna trigger after zero for this. Let's try two seconds between each boost here. Let's launch it. There goes one. Come on, come on. Oh, unfortunately the angle is way off now, but if I can keep this stable in the air, that might go quite well. Obviously my other rocket was a bit better. All right, so I noticed the first stage was having a very hard time doing liftoff. Obviously, you want to start going fast. So I added two rockets to stage one, then two seconds between the other two. So we just have that initial push that we need to get off the launch pad as quickly as possible, hopefully getting some trajectory so we can use those fins to keep it stable in the air. Let's see what happens, though. Much better. Oh, that was beautiful. Why are we not going? How did we do? Okay, so it has to be a weight thing now. We went... 420, nice by the way. I believe my other launch with only two was better than that though. So maybe doing stages is not helping or we're just over engineering this to the point where the weight is just too much for this thing because the more weight we add, obviously the more propulsion we need. That was our record though. We had both the record altitude and speed. Uh, so not bad. I'm gonna upload that video. I think I just need to start getting subscribers. I think that's going to unlock a lot of things. I'm going to call this one 420 Blaze It Rocket because it went up 420. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so I got this tag for going exactly 420 meters. I was making the joke and the game already did it. So that's perfect. Mega boost. And well, we ha actually had a quad tail, but I'll put qu tw twin tail there because there's no quad option. Or sorry, we had a triple tail. All right. How do we do? A thousand new subs. We are now silver. Okay, we are starting to actually, you know, become viral. 178,000 from like 20,000 last one. I think I'm the biggest rocket channel on uh, old, the old star tube now. Well, it looks like I'm famous enough now to make ad revenue. I wonder if that means I can start to buy things because right now I'm just using trash that I find. Oh yeah, it even says Starbank should install my device. Perfect. So yeah, I'm hoping now we can start to buy some things because it's been a slow progress going uh, away from these model rockets. All right, this is the uh, team that builds the basic software that I'm using. I'm saying I'm gonna say it feels limited. Hopefully they'll give me 3D software now. I feel like we're starting to get to the next part of the game. All right, it's not capable of running three-dimensional perspective. That is definitely a bummer. I might need to get new software then. Your positive feedback combined with our hardworking team has enabled us to bring you a new software update. Marker version 2.0 is finally here. New features include grid and liquid fuel support. Okay, well, at least we're getting something. One day we might get into 3D designing. It's very annoying building rockets in 2D. All right, so there's a new uh, challenge log. So I'll set this goal to get more. And yes, this is looking way better already than my basic, you know, scribbles on the screen. Is it still scribbles? Okay, it's not. There's actually like 3D renders now. Oh, there's even attach points. Oh my God, this is so much better. <laughs> I love this slow progression in this game. Oh, and you can attach that. That's how you're supposed to do it. It even shows the direction we're gonna go over here. Okay, so this is nice. You know, it's, it's not 3D, but it's definitely better. That should fly quite well. Let's just launch this to get these things and we'll see how straight it goes now. Look at that. Way better than my... My childish designs before it should hopefully drop. I mean, there is wind, but it should come pretty much straight down. And indeed, it 
is. Oh, dude, this feels so much better. All right, and I'm just gonna go strength in numbers and just upload pretty much every one of my videos because now, as you can see, we, we have monetized our content. I earned a whole six bucks. But hey, it's better than nothing. I don't know what I can do with this money yet, but I'm assuming we're gonna get an app soon with like an Amazon store or something. Oh my God, you can actually speed up the videos. <laughs> can I like and dislike? <laughs> And I can just click any video in here. I'm seriously impressed with the whole YouTube side of this. I, I was also supposed to go to my comments and like force kids to give me toys. I don't know how to do it. Can I just respond to people? Ah, yes. There we go. Would you like to send Billy plays a message? Yes. Oh my God, Drago Boo. I love your channel. You're totally the coolest. Okay, give me your toys because I'm poor. I've only earned $6 so far. Of course, my favorite color is pink. You don't got to ask me that. It's my favorite animal, a crocodile. Just because that sounds weird. What's my favorite show? Is Play of Seats Game of Throne? Like a... Yeah, I, that, that's, that's got to be it. What do you want to be when you're older? Um, I, I'm already old. <laughs> After all those questions, I get a train? You didn't give me a crocodile? And it's not even pink? What the hell? What a waste of my time. Oh, at least I got a train. All right, dude bro wants me to make a rocket that loops. Uh, I wish he came to me in the last episode because I was really good at doing that. So we'll do that later. At least we're getting some challenges now. Is this a shop that we're actually going to get? Oh, no. He's giving me a PVC tube set. You know what? That's way better than my kit, clearly. So we're, we're getting... That's probably my best upgrade since the medium rocket. All right, so we got our PVC piping right now. Uh, I'm just going to make a basic rocket here. I, I want it to loop, though. So I'm going to simply just angle the booster and see if that works. So we're just going to put a medium booster in this. Wow, this PVC pipe's a lot bigger. So we're just going to angle that a little bit. Build that. See if that's loop-worthy. All right, loop it. Come on. Uh, is it that heavy? All right, I put two in just to see if it was that issue. All right, four rockets. Come on. How is that? Okay, that tail fin's too good. God damn it. <laughs> how can I not get it to loop now? You got to see how sideways this was. Like, that was the rocket. How did it go? You know what? We're just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do that. <laughs> Why are you going so straight? Mother of God, I can't get it to loop. I seriously, what What do you want from me? Look at that, they're, they're on the side. I can't, I can't. You know what, I'm, I'm actually giving up. I'm giving up, I can't screw up anymore. This this new software is too good. Like, look at the, the, the frick. All right, so let's just go for a long shot once again, now that we have these new toys to play with. Um, PVC might be too heavy though. 600 grams, 500 grams, 230 grams. Compared to 40 grams, 10 grams, yeah. I, 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 might, I might just go for a light rocket that has a lot of stages on it. All right, so let's just try this without any stages. I just want to see with this new software, now that we can actually keep things perfectly straight, more or less, how something like this will go. So, oh, still a little off-center as you can see, but... Almost 600, still going. 630 without any stages. I don't think we're getting to the kilometer, but this should at least get us some YouTube views, or sorry, StarTube views. So that's all I care about anyways. And look at that, almost perfectly landing. Uh, I was only 59 new subs. I mean, every little bit counts though. Oh, Rayson, I don't know who you are, but he just gave me liquid fuel. This is going to be way better for going higher. We might actually hit the kilometer now. Because until now, we've been just using uh, fuse-based rockets. Obviously, th those go out really, really quickly. If we have a slow burn, it might make sense. Are we getting more PVC parts? Looks like we're getting a our first shop. The DIY shop is going to our toolbar. We actually do have the shop now. Perfect. So I can start to buy things. We also got a new booster. Uh, this guy was talking all scientific. I got kind of bored and I wasn't paying attention, but he gave me a booster, so sick. Okay, so now we got an engine... And how does this work? Do I... How do I attach it? Does it just need to be around? Oh, I wasn't done talking to the guy. So I have this little software update, the marker that adds pipe mode. Oh my god, I, should, I... This is the thing. There's so many people to talk to in this game, guys. I spend more time on this screen than anything else. Okay, so just give me the update. Thank you. I seriously can't wait till I get a virus from one of these people, but now I should be able to connect things together. So now we might actually be able to design some sort of liquid field rocket. All right, so we connect this to this like that. Is that it? I think I did it. 
That's it. All right. If, if I can build it, I did it. All right. Let's see how high this sucker goes. I feel like I'm actually getting into rocketeering now. Here we go. Still actually not that great, but the, the, the fuel did last longer. So if I connect those together... That might go well. You also got to remember, this is a much heavier rocket than the small rockets that I've been using. So just for fun, I'm going to go on this light rocket, see if he can even handle it. We have just enough room for the cone. And then <laughs> this engine's going to be huge on this thing, but it's great. Wait, I can't seem to connect it. Is it because I can't go through the bottle? Is it that realistic? Now we should be able to connect it together at least. And indeed we can. Okay. Let's just see what happens with this thing. Look at this. This shouldn't work. This should not work. Is it oh, God. Yeah, this is fun. All right, I do want to try one more thing, which is these double boosters. Uh, they are a lot better than the basic boosters that we have, so we might be able to uh, get the one kilometer. I'm really focused on the one kilometer right now, if you can't tell. All right, let's try it out. Oh! Oh, it's going to beat it. Seven. Oh, it's so close. I wonder if I stage this. I only put two on. Uh, we're going to upload that video anyways. All right, that video didn't do so hot, but it didn't really work on it hard, to be fair. Uh, so what we're going to do is try one more thing. These have a burn time of two seconds. So obviously, if I delay the second boost by two seconds, we'll get a longer burn time. That might be what we need to go a little bit higher. Let's see if we can go any further here. So there's two. Uh, went way sideways that time. That was a good delay, though, as you saw. Um, we're still going to have to work on it a little bit. Still going up. If we would have had that going straight, it might have actually reached it. All right, guys. Well, I think it's a good time to wrap up this one here. I am having a blast with this game, literally. Um, yeah, now we're getting deeper into the game. You can kind of see how this game is going to exactly work. Again, the goal is to actually leave this Earth, I believe. I don't know if we actually will or not, but you can kind of see how the software gets better as we go. We now are monetizing our account, so we're earning money so we can buy more things. We have one shop right now, but I'm assuming they're going to get more advanced as we go down this. So if you guys are enjoying this, I would love to go deeper into it. I want to see how far we can go, damn it. We're still a little star tuber with 2,000 subscribers, but hey, we definitely did a lot better today than we did in the first episode, and it's going to continue to go forward. Forward, hopefully. So yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.